Let's talk about one of the unsung heroes of electronics, the capacitor. You've seen them, those little cans or ceramic discs on circuit boards. They might look simple, but they're fundamental to making our gadgets work. Think of capacitors as tiny temporary storage tanks for electrical energy. Unlike batteries, they don't generate power. They grab it, hold it briefly, and release it in a quick burst. This ability to charge and discharge rapidly is their superpower. Imagine needing to fill a water balloon fast, you'd fill a bucket first then dump it in, that's what a capacitor does with electricity. It stores up charge then releases it all at once when needed. Understanding capacitors unlocks a whole new layer of how your gadgets work. So, how does a capacitor actually work? It's surprisingly simple. Picture a sandwich. Two metal plates are the bread and the filling is an insulating material called a dielectric. When you connect a battery, one plate gains electrons, negative, the other loses them, positive. The dielectric keeps the charges apart, storing energy as an electric field, like a stretched rubber band. The more charge, the more energy stored. When you connect a circuit, the stored energy is released in a quick burst. This charging and discharging happens in a fraction of a second. The size of the plates and the type of dielectric determine how much charge it can hold, measured in farads. Most capacitors in your projects are tiny, but the principle is the same. It's a simple, elegant system. A sandwich that stores and releases energy on command.